The Isuzu D-Max is one of the quiet achievers in the Australian ute market. It sells pretty well and it's got a stack of fans. This is a proper purpose-built ute and that's refreshing in this day and age. For even more details, read my full yarn at carsguide.com.au and if you're watching this on YouTube, hit like, hit subscribe, share the video with your mates to stay up to date with all of our reviews. The SX Crew Cab 4x4 is the entry-level pickup style D-Max. It has a 3-litre four-cylinder turbo diesel engine, a six-speed automatic transmission, part-time four-wheel drive system and 16-inch steel wheels. In terms of dimensions, this D-Max is 5,295mm long with a 3,095mm wheelbase. It is 1,860mm wide, 1,785mm high and it has a listed curb weight of 2,016 kilograms. The tray is 1,552mm long at floor height. It's 1,530mm wide, but 1,105mm between the wheel arches. It's 465mm deep, and back here you get four tie-down points and a rubber mat. In terms of comfort, it's okay. Behind my driving position I have adequate headroom and a fair bit of legroom. And there is a fold-down armrest and flip down cup holders in the back of the centre console. The interior is very basic but it suits this ute to a T. Big expanses of durable plastic, cloth seats, big chunky rubber mats to catch all that dirt and mud that you bring in on your boots and vinyl flooring to catch all the stuff that the mats don't. It's all ready for real life. It has a 7 inch touchscreen with basic functionality and the screen itself is a bit awkward to use. On road there are no real surprises, this is a ute after all. The suspension, pretty firm because it's leaf spring at the rear. Steering, pretty heavy, feels, feels like a truck to steer around. That engine, again, light truck engine, so it's pretty noisy, pretty gruff. You can hear a fair bit of it in the cab. But I don't mind any of those things and if you hop into a ute expecting a nice smooth ride and awesome handling, then you're in the wrong vehicle. A ute is always going to be a compromise between on-road ride and handling and four-wheel drive capability and work versatility and you're never going to get the best of any of those things. And the D-Max's truck-like characteristics continue when you're off-roading. It's very basic, very simple, but very effective too. It's a little bit noisy, it's a bit of a rough rider, but I reckon that's all part of the fun. I don't mind it. I reckon that's part of the D-Max's appeal, that it is a simple no-nonsense, straightforward ute. The D-Max is generally a good off-roader. It's got decent ground clearance, it's got good wheel travel, but the problem is when you get on a steep hill with deep ruts and loose gravel, its weaknesses are exposed. It relies on traction control, and traction control is not enough for something like this. This is a hill for modified vehicles, sure, but it's a good test for standard vehicles. And with no diff locks, I'm not going anywhere. I could go a bit harder and a bit faster and, and maybe get a bit of a run up and I could get a little bit further up the hill, but that would risk damage and I'm not willing to do that. And before all the armchair experts get fired up, I had a few cracks at this hill and that was with traction control on and off and I was in high range and low range on a couple of runs. The D-Max range has a 5 star ANCAP rating and that's from testing in 2017. All D-Maxes have 6 airbags, electronic stability control, reversing camera and more. Fuel consumption is a claimed 7.9 litres per 100 kilometres and that's on a combined cycle. It was showing 10.4 on our dash but we recorded an actual fuel consumption on test of 14.2 but that might be a little bit high because in the past we've recorded 11.6 and 10.7. That higher fuel figure this time round might have been the result of so much low range four wheel driving. The D-Max has a claimed payload of 1,034 kilograms, an unbrake towing capacity of 750 and a brake towing capacity of 3,500. It has a 76 litre fuel tank and a five year 130,000 kilometre warranty. The D-Max is a pretty decent all-round ute. If you're going to use it as an off-road tourer, I'd think about more aggressive all-terrain tyres. I'd upgrade that suspension 
and I'd seriously think about an aftermarket diff lock. The new D-Max arriving here in late 2020 will have a rear diff lock, but that's if you're patient, you can wait for that. But those aren't the problems, the problem is the price tag. If Isuzu knock five or even better 10 grand off of it, it'd be even more appealing. What do you think? Tell us in the comments section below.